Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday. I am back with another What Sold video. I had a great week of sales, so stick around to see what I sold this past week. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, if you're a previous subscriber, thank you for coming back. I appreciate your support. My name is Heather. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, I'm a volleyball player, and I love Disney. So. I am back with a what sold video I missed last week because we were getting a new carpet, moving stuff around the house. If you see my hair blowing slightly, it's because I have the fan on me. It's really hot here in Iowa. We just took our dog on a walk. So I'm just gonna kind of let you know what I sold this past week. Like I said, it was pretty good, especially Poshmark over Memorial Day weekend was like crazy. So yeah, I was really happy, especially because I spent a good chunk of change in that carpet. And then we also went and got a whole new bedroom set. So praise, like I painted this wall. We got rid of our old ghetto headboard. If you remember the gold trim, it was bad. So anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad when I spend a big amount of money and I can start making some good sales. So I'm going to start on eBay. The first thing I sold on eBay was this Torrid Harper Teal Georgette popover blouse in a size 1X. This sold really quickly for me, like within a couple of days for $17. I also sold these Valentino jeans. I picked these up at a consignment store. They probably sat for about five or six months. I think I had them priced pretty high. Um, but someone offered me a hundred dollars and so I went ahead and took that Next I sold a pair of Torrid light wash grommet jean shorts. These were actually in a size 10 So Torrid doesn't always sell plus size. I think that's their smallest size that they do sell is a size 10 Which is what I wear and these sold for twenty dollars I sold this new polo Ralph Lauren checkered performance button-up shirt This came to me in a men's thread up rescue box. It was in a size large and it sold for 20 bucks I mean twenty five dollars um, next was a cabbie gray drop-off micro striped jacket. This was in a size medium. I just picked this up. Oh my gosh, this isn't gonna work. Maybe I can put my hair like back this way. I just picked this up at a thrift store maybe three weeks ago or so and I sold it for $25. Everything is um, free shipping on eBay. I do free shipping on pretty much everything except for Marketplace. Um, next is a pair of new Hollister shorts. These came to me at a men's throw rescue box. They were on board shorts, red, white, and blue. Perfect for summertime. They sold for $20. I sold these Adidas women's golf shorts. They were kind of a white stripe, modest length shorts and golf stuff is selling really good for me right now. And they sold for $23. Next is a pair of soft surroundings jeans. They were the night out rhinestone studded jeans in a size four petite. These were new with tags, but they sat for a really long time. I do much better with soft surroundings, dresses and tops. This sold for $20. And then I sold this Athleta green pullover sweatshirt. This actually was mine. I went through my drawers and got rid of some stuff that I haven't worn in a while. It was in a size large and it sold for $25. But when I originally got it, I got it from a thrift store, so still made money on it. Next was an American Eagle men's shirt. It was an athletic fit flannel. This came to me in a men's thrift up rescue box and this sold for me for $12. I get a lot of stuff in those men's thrift up rescue boxes of like the button up shirts and stuff like that, which I don't like selling. So it's kind of why I haven't been getting those as much anymore. Um, next was an Anthropology Airy and Alley super soft gray high neck sweater in a size small and this sold for $20. And then I sold this Athleta Blue Nirvana Twist sweatshirt. I actually had this same sweatshirt in a size large. The extra large sold quicker for $18. I sold these new Echo men's sandals. These were in a size 12. I just picked these up I think last week or two weeks ago and they sold for $40. And then I sold this Athleta Women's Neon Green Yellow Sugar Wash Burnout Tank Top in a size medium, and this sold for $15. Here is another item from a men's thread up rescue box, so at least I am selling this stuff, just not for a lot. This was a Zara Man long sleeve zip up reflective jacket in a size medium, and it sold for $20. And then I sold this Charles Triwit. I don't know if that's how you say it. Purple Gingham Long Sleeve, also men's thread up rescue box item. This sold for $15.88. And these couple sales were just from this morning. I am filming this on Thursday afternoon at 1.30. Um, and I'm going from last Thursday's sales, I believe. Um, this was a new Eileen Fisher peach classic color shirt, 100% Irish linen. And it was in a plus size, I think 2X, and it sold for $75. And then the last thing I sold on eBay were these new Lane Bryant Espadrille lace-up wedge summer shoes in a size eight wide. I just picked these up recently and they sold for $31. So that was good. The first thing I sold on Mercari were these pair of one teaspoon shorts. They were the white bandit denim shorts in a size 24. I just picked these up recently and they sold for $36.
And then I sold this Assets by Spanx black push-up swimsuit. This was a one piece and it was in a size extra large. The Assets by Spanx is sold like at Target and stuff, not as high end or desirable, but if I price it right, which I did, I priced it at 30 and someone offered me 24, it sold very quickly. I sold these seven for all mankind Jojo flare jeans. These also sold pretty quickly for me for $36. So the Jojo jeans still do well, but I think the ones with the white stitching on the back pockets do better. Mine just had like the brown stitching. So, but they still got a lot of interest and they sold quickly. So I was glad about that. Next was a J. Crew camel printed core hoodie, but I actually had a weird thing with this where this girl said she received a dress. So that sucks because that means some dress that I sold I accidentally sent to her. And then I don't know. Anyway, so I know actually I got the hoodie back. I don't know. It's a huge mess. I feel like this just happens to me every once in a while and it's like sucks, but it's like, well, anyway, so, uh, yeah, I have the hoodie back and I reprinted the shipping label and sent it back to her and she sent me back the dress. So we're able to get that worked out. I'm trying to like get this so I have a good amount of space for my pictures. Okay. Um, next is a Garnet Hill red striped sweater. This was linen. It was size extra small. This sold for me within a couple of weeks for $35. Also that J crew hoodie sold for 27 if I didn't say that. Next is a pair of Can Can Black Leopard skinny jeans. These ones didn't do as well as the normal, just um, regular denim wash that I typically get. They got a lot of interest, but they only sold for $21. I sold this American Eagle gray long sleeve t-shirt. This was from a men's sweat up rescue box and this sold for $15. Here is another item from a men's sweat up rescue box. They were the Levi's 514 dark wash straight jeans in a size 36 and they sold for $24. Wait, let's go to marketplace and see what I sold here. If you are liking this video, I do you, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit the subscribe with the little bell next to it. That way you can get notifications every time I put out a new video. Okay, we're gonna go to my sales and marketplace. Okay, what's been interesting in marketplace though? Let me know if you guys sell in marketplace, if this is happening with you. I'm getting free shipping labels. So I am doing my listings and it doesn't matter what weight I'm picking, which I usually only do under a pound or one to two. It's giving me free labels and so that means I'm not having to take it out of mine and the buyer's not having to pay shipping. And I've heard some people are getting like 40 or so and I actually have no clue how I can find out how many I'm getting, but all I know is that all week when I've been listing there, it's been free label. So, okay, I'll take that. So anyway, I think that is why I am getting a boost in marketplace sales because people are getting free shipping. So that makes me think I might as well just add on free shipping once I have to pay for it or once it's you know not free anymore for them to my listings because Obviously people like free shipping. I do free shipping on eBay. I do it on Mercari. So why not do it on marketplace? Just adjust the price like I do in the other ones. And yeah, so I think I am going to do that. First was a pair of pink Victoria's Secret Ultimate High Rise Color Block Leggings. These sold very quickly within a couple of hours for $20. I sold this cabbie red Tess tie front casual long sleeve top. This sold for me within a day on marketplace for $20. This next sale was within a day. Lily Pulitzer Navy Dual Duval. I don't know how to say that. Linen short sleeve top. It was in a size small and it sold for $20. Now, like I said, right now, this was not taking free shipping out of me. They were just getting it. Um, men's Crocs Santa Cruz slip on shoes, $20 also within a day. This sale was within, this next sale was within a week. I think it was American Eagle high rise mom jeans in a size 16 long. They sold for $25. I sold these Lululemon plaid tracker shorts. These sold for $30. Next is a pair of bogs, which I am realizing now as I'm looking at the listing that I must've been, well, I always do talk texting because it goes way faster, but it typed it out as box, B-O-X, <laughs> and they still sold. So, you know, whatever, they sold for $25. Uh, these Harley Davidson boots I just listed yesterday morning and they sold by lunch. They were a brown leather slouch harness boot. If you remember from my last haul video, I paid $20 for those. People told me maybe it was a too high, but you know what? I sold them for $65 on Marketplace. Fees are super low in there. So yes, that was worth $20 for me. Um, next is a pair of Miss Me Dark Wash Bling Pocket Signature Crop Jeans, $25. Miss Me still sells. I just don't get it very much, hardly at all, unless they're like really good condition and really cheap. Um, next, this also sold within an hour, Anthropology Hey Hey Green Floral Embroidered Field Jacket. This sold for me for $40. And another item from that last haul, a Torrid Black Floral Studio Wrap Peplum Top sold within a couple of hours for 20 bucks. So a Facebook marketplace was really good. That's a little bit more than I normally sell. So what I'm thinking is once it's not offering me those free labels anymore, I am gonna offer free shipping and I'm just gonna build it in to the price of my listing. And I don't really typically 
um, offer, or I don't really typically accept offers on Marketplace. So it's kind of just like, that's what the price is. Okay, so let me go through here on um, Poshmark with you. Let me know how your guys' Poshmark sales were because mine were super good. Like all of a sudden, I think maybe it started Friday. I think it started Saturday, not Friday. It was like, oh my gosh. And I feel like I see a lot of people on Instagram with the same thing. Like a lot of people were getting these like crazy amount of sales. I was like, yes. So that was exciting. Okay, so the first thing I sold on Poshmark this past week was this J. Crew Orange Regent Blazer. It was a wool blend career size eight and this sold for $35. Next is a pair of joie sandals, which I don't hardly ever get, but I really like the style of these. They were orange lace-up espadrille sandals. I had these for quite a while, but I think I bought them in the fall or something when they were out of season. So they did sell now for $45. I sold these DL1961 Mara Ankle Snap High Rise Straight Jeans. These were in a size 27 and they sold for $31. Next was a pair of Urban Outfitters Black Drawstring Crop Pants. I don't think these were new with tags. Um, and they sold for $16, so not a lot. You will see some lower sales in here because basically I was like accepting everything. <laughs> Next is an Athleta Black Balance Long Sleeve Sweatshirt Dress. I just picked this up a couple of hauls ago and it sold for $25. I sold a pair of Levi's 721 High Rise Skinny Jeans. These were a dark wash size 28 and they sold for $25. Next was a Banana Republic Checkered Plaid Button Up Shirt. This was from a Men's Thread Up Rescue Box. This was in a size medium and it sold for $17. And as I'm going through this, I am realizing that this men's sweat up stuff is selling, but I don't know. I just don't like taking pictures of it. I don't like listing it. It's just like, it's not exciting to me at all. <laughs> uh, next was another pair of Levi's. These were a 710, a super skinny jeans, casual, mid rise, a size 28, and they sold for $30. I sold these American Eagle black high rise mom shorts in a size zero. These only sold for 13. I had them for a really long time. Next was the Saints and Secrets Red Asymmetrical Tank Dress. I think this might, might have been like a boutique brand. It was new with tags and it sold for $27. I sold these Merrill Black Spire Leather Comfort Slip-On Shoes in a size 7.5 for $20. And I'm actually seeing something really stupid because I had a case opened up on me. It was a pair of Cole Haan Penny Loafers. They were gray. The person opened up a case and said these are not a size 6. They fit more like an 8 or 9. And I looked on my pictures and it was clearly size six and I know I didn't look at it upside down. So I had wrote back, you know, there's a clear picture. That's what size it is. Now I'm just realizing it says case approved. So for some stupid reason, Poshmark is apparently giving these people their money back. Like so dumb. Okay, sorry, I had to go talk to my daughter real quick. Um, okay, anyway, so that was stupid. They approved a case that they shouldn't have, but whatever. Uh, next is a pair of Disney princess shoes. These were not any kind of brand, but they just had all over print of Disney princesses and they sold for $25. Next was a Nike gray rally crew neck pullover sweatshirt. This was gray. I already said that this was extra small. It sold for $21. I sold these Sunita clogs. They were a size 11. I had these for probably over a year. They literally had dust on them. So I sold them for $15. <laughs> next is a bundle um, of four items for $100. And it was a pair of new beta brand pants in a size small. A blue and gray loft plush fuzz poncho striped sweater, barefoot dreams cozy chick light ombre cardigan, and a new mud pie rosalie floral long sleeve casual top. Like I said, those all sold for $100. So my payout was $80. So that was a really good bundle. And then I sold this Zara Basic white leather crisscross sandals. These came to be in a thread up shoe rescue box. They were in a size 10 and they sold for $21. I sold this Lily Pulitzer Breakwater Palm Blue Gold Dress in a size 12. This sold for $62. Next was the brand Roar. It was a Jenna plaid yellow blue button up top. I had this for a really long time. Someone offered me 13. I went ahead and took that. I sold this Kate Spade Island Romper Sleeveless Summer. I guess that was just key words I was using. It was a size small and it sold for $35. Next was a Torrid Gray Mixed Media Faux Leather Moto Jacket. This was in a size 2X and this sold for $40. I sold this Sorel Brown Sherpa Zip Up Work Vest. This was a men's size large and this sold for $45. Next was an Athleta Gray Black Mesh Plie High Rise Leggings in a size medium. These sold for $25. I sold this Mara Hoffman dress. It was the Annie Black Blue Striped Midi Dress with pockets. Sold for $65. 
And then I sold this Kate Spade blue short sleeve martini shirt. This was in a size extra large and this sold for $15. Next was another pair of Levi's. These were the 535 super skinny jeans in a size 29 and these sold for $22. I sold these PacSun High Rise Distressed Cutoff Mom Shorts. These were in a size 30 and they sold for $22. Next was the Soft Surroundings Paloma Poet Shirt Animal Print, size extra small. This only sold for 14. I sold these Rock Revival jeans very quickly. They were the Maggie Easy Bootcut Jeans in a size 29 and they sold for 60 bucks. I sold these J. Crew Snakeskin Ballet Flats. These were in a size six, really small. Had them for a long time, sold them for $15. And then I sold these Athleta Teal Stability Shorts. These were in an extra, extra small. So really small and they only sold for 13. Um, next was the Coach Chelsea Optic C handbag. This was in a Thread Up Rescue Box, a Coach one, and it sold for $24. I sold these new weatherproof Seersucker Bermuda Shorts. These were actually in a men's Thread Up Rescue Box. Turns out they were women's. I was about ready actually to send them back to Thread Up, but someone offered me $8, so I just went ahead and took it. And then I sold these Paige Margot Dark Wash High Rise Crop Skinny Jeans. These were in a size 26 and they sold for $27. And the last thing I sold on Poshmark this morning was a new Trina Turk Sleeveless Tassel Jumpsuit. This was a size large and it sold for $35. So those were my sales. Let me know how your guys' sales have been, especially over the Memorial Day weekend. I'd be kind of interested to know if it was as good as everybody else as it was for me on Poshmark. And I will hopefully see you guys again soon. Bye.